right, so we're gonna look at the map of Petal, Mississippi and where Angela Freeman went missing, where she was seen last and where she allegedly was the night she went missing, okay? If you were to go look at a map today and look for Pizza Hut, you would have to find it on the Evelyn Gandy Parkway. The current building that was Pizza Hut is now Verona Grill and it is located right on Central Avenue in downtown Petal where the red building top is. This is the old Pizza Hut. Now, she was last seen, according to the record, she was last seen here at approximately one o'clock in the morning. Her ex-boyfriend worked here. She was going to visit him. Um, apparently a, a, an argument happened um, no, and, and, and he went back inside. And then she was never seen after that. When she he when when he came back out, allegedly she was gone. The river, the Leaf River, runs through actually through Petal. It runs through right here down Eleven. And if you come all the way uh, down, you can turn and get into the old part of Petal. Downtown Petal is what we call it. If you were to keep going straight, you you will cross over the Leaf River. And there is a Petal River Park here wasn't there back then, but it is now where you can actually pull off into this area. You can park, you can walk back here to the river. There is a railroad trestle, excuse me, that looks a lot like the Monted Bridge. It's not quite as big though. So I've taken photographs of this um, from back here because it's being rebuilt right now. And this is um, an area that's, that's pretty, uh, you know, pretty common to go to well, nowadays. Her car was found on the, at, on the Leaf River, but not here, which to me seems odd. But I mean, that's the thing. That's with this story, this case, apparently they went and hung out at the Monad Bridge. Okay. The Monad Bridge is located pretty good ways away, all the way down here. Okay, it's in uh, right before you would get to New Augusta. This is the Monad Bridge, and apparently, according to the to the story, according to what we know, her car was found uh, somewhere in this area, uh, parked near the bridge. The bridge is right here, so it's parked somewhere on this side, on the north side, on this in this area. Uh, her shoe was found. Another shoe was found. Blood was found by her car. And that is where she, that is where her, her car and her, her belongings, everything but her purse and keys uh, and diary uh, was found to this here. area now, the Monad Bridge, you cannot pass this point right here. You will drive, and I'll show you in a second the different ways you can get here, but uh, you can drive this far, then you'll see a, a road close sign, and you can cut off down this road here. And back then, this camp was not there, to my understanding. This was built around 2006. Back then, I think maybe that shed was there and that was it. And this land is frequently used for hunting. This is also the land where the uh, Moody brothers killed two individuals in 1995. Uh, well, they were attacked on the Monad Bridge and then taken to... Uh, what I believe, it to, I've been told uh, where they lived, which was over here at Shal's Loop, right here in this area. And allegedly, according to what the record states, uh, they they took the bodies there and buried them. And uh, it was a boy and a girl. It was boyfriend and girlfriend, young lady and young, young man in okay. their 20s. So on this side of the Monad Bridge, if you were to take the 98 uh, way to the Monad Bridge, you can turn off of 98 onto this road here, and you will have to cross over some railroad tracks where you can either go left or right to get to 24, or you can go down this road here, which will take you to a fence and a gate. You can't go any further. As you can tell, this property here has been developed. It is now a lodge that is used uh, for hunting and it uh, it's the Leaf River Lodge. So there's a gate somewhere. We, we went down here. There's a gate somewhere right about here in this area here. Well, the, they'll pretty much tell you you can't go. You got to have a keypad number to get back there. So you can't get anywhere near the bridge from this side unless you live here. And back then, I do not know if that was the case or not. 
but I am assuming it wasn't the case because if the Moody brothers lived on this side, on the south side of the bridge, and if they were known to hang out on the Monted Bridge, you would think that they just kind of would ride right down the road from their house, get right here, drive to the Monted Bridge, and hang out. You wouldn't think that they would go down here to Highway uh, 29. Is this 29 in New Augusta? I believe. You wouldn't think that they would drive down to New Augusta, take the highway all the way down where they'd have to cut over and across to get to the Monet Bridge. That just wouldn't make good sense to me. But uh, I don't okay, know. Okay, so like I said, there's two ways you can get to the, to the bridge uh, from pedal. You can either go down, like like exit out of the city of Petal. There, were, at the time in 1993, we did not have this big parkway here, so consider this gone. At the time, you could not jump onto the EGP, the Evelyn Ganey Parkway, and get on the interstate and hit hit uh, 49 and 98 like you can today. You would have to exit out of downtown, and you would have to drive here, get on Highway 11. And you would travel down Highway 11, down through downtown Hattiesburg. You would eventually make your way through the back. Or, you know, there's several different ways you can go to get to Highway 98, which will take you essentially um, to the Monte Bridge. Now, that's one way to get there. Pretty, sh pretty smooth, uh, straight shot. And then the other way you can get there. All right. So the other way you can get there from Pedal um, is to take the Old River Road. All right. You come down, let's say... You're leaving, and there's multiple ways you can do this to get to Old River Road, but if it were me, this is what I would do. I mean, if it were me taking the pedal way. Uh, leave, come down Central Avenue here, so you get to the red light. Then take a right and come down Main Street. Come down Main Street. You turn onto Carterville Road here, and take this all the way. All right, you follow Carterville Road until you would get to this point right here where it forks. You can either go this way to get to Sunrise or this way to take Old River. You would take this Old River. You would follow this. Right there, and it's right there off the road. So let me zoom out so you can see just how just how much travel. So, those are the ways to get to the Monad Bridge. Um, obviously, like I said, on this end, it is pretty close from the road. Not very far at all. At all. In fact, let me measure it from here to the bridge. 0.35 miles uh, and let's say 600 yards from the road, from the, from the old river road. Now, if you were to go over here and get on from 98, you're talking, all right, you're talking 2,774 yards and um, 1.58 miles. So over a mile from the 98 side. So, if we are to assume that um, they did take the Old River Road, which I believe they did, her car was found on that side, whoever took her car, I believe, took the Old River Road, then we need to look at where did um, the suspects or suspect live in relation to the Monted Bridge? Where did they live back then? If, if the suspect are, is the Moody brothers, where did they live? If the suspect is the ex-boyfriend, where did he live? Um, if the suspect is, you know, whoever. I've heard it was, the, there's been suspects all the way back to the stepdad. So we just need to look at that. Um, and then we, we can start looking also at other places where, if this wasn't the crime scene, where was the crime scene? At the time, I don't know if this, I'm not saying anything, but like I've noticed this trailer back here in the all by itself woods. I've wondered about that. Did anybody live here at the time? Did they hear anything going on? This is an RV park or some sort right here. To this day it is. I don't know if it was there that back then. Did anybody witness anything here? This is like a gas station now, Pops or Paul's. Did anybody witness anything over here? 
because I'm telling you, the minute you turn off Old River Road onto the Monted Road, pretty much anybody in this area is going to know you're there. It's, there's no hiding from people, you know? Now, that was that snail. I don't know what it was like back then. If her body, her body was put in the river, hypothetically, it would go this direction. So, if, let's say, they dumped the car here, somewhere in here, they brought her down to the river, they did something to her, put her in the river, her body would, would eventually wash up somewhere, I would believe, and if not float to the surface, right here, there's this 90 degree angle where the, the body could have very easily washed up around this area somewhere. Now, another thing to note that's kind of interesting is right over here, this is the new Augusta uh, Leaf River uh, cellulose plant, the Georgia Pacific. So, and there's a cemetery over here that's named Stevens Cemetery, uh, right in here somewhere. But, but yeah, if, if, let's say her body washed up somewhere in this area, this is highly traveled by log trucks. This is the railroad here that travels across and goes straight into this plant and they make paper here. Um, across, across from the Leaf River, which runs right here, is the DeSoto National Forest and Camp Shelby. Locals know all about this. Bodies are found out here all the time. The DeSoto National Forest is so large, it spans, which this map is sideways, but it spans a huge part um, of southern Mississippi and the Gulf Coast area headed towards the Gulf Coast, of, or, you know, the Gulf of Mexico, Biloxi, all that. All you have to do is just literally hop across the street and you're in territory that is very vast, lots of open land, lots of back roads and trails. People go hunting out here. Like I said, people are constant. In fact, last week or the week that and this story came out that we started covering this, they found remains there. They find remains there all the time. So that could be another area uh, to look at as well. That's, uh, that's the map analysis of the Angela Freeman case.